room, where you're gonna do the welcoming, you're gonna eat, and you're gonna do the draw for the groups. I'm Lucaso, I'm the executive director of WFFA and the operations manager. I usually uh, manage all the event, uh, events around the world for uh, freestyle football. Basically, if there's something happening with the ball and the tricks, I know about it. Statistics: 45 athletes, uh, male athletes from 43 countries, and eight ladies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to draw you. Ladies first. Tuesday, we are building up the whole day from 6 a.m. We are at the venue. We are going to be here until midnight. It's going to be a long, long day. Suddenly, we just have to build all the production and all the cameras, which is coordinating of two teams, which is, has been planned for three or four weeks. And uh, it's a complete mayhem, but it's going to be really great. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, I don't like coffee. I don't want coffee. I, I want a water and a sandwich. Yeah, ca ca coffee is already here by the catering. What you will see here, it's an effort of 10 months of planning. So basically it's just synchronizing all the departments, which is mainly the production and the TV stream. Then we have a catering for everyone. We have to talk with the owners of this beautiful venue to, uh, to make a space. We're hiring a bus, we're having uh, the bar over here, VIP, the media coming. We have a different athletes manager, judges manager. Yes, everyone around here is manager. It's uh, really important to get it all synchronized and the contacts for everyone. Communication is the key. Uh, we are in Warsaw, in Poland. Beautiful weather, minus three degrees, exactly how I like it and uh, we are having the best freestyles from 45 countries on this place.
was quite a big task for us, but uh, there was a challenge to cooperate with Red Bull. And of course, the Red Bull is around us uh, several years, uh, around WFFA and uh, freestyle football. So we are very glad that uh, we are here together with Red Bull in Warsaw. All the time, if you, if you are planning and also doing, doing and constructing such a big uh, event, of course, uh, there is a lot of things to, to solve. But uh, now we are going and uh, I must say that uh, it goes so far smoothly. We are at the end of the preparation day. Still too much to do, it's 9 p.m. Uh, we are going to test the audio and lights today. Uh, apparently the lights are not enough, so we have to make it stronger. We are doing uh, some design, design works, branding. Slept only for two hours and uh, exhausted. But everyone needs to see that the leader is taking it professionally. And that's what it is about. You always have to look that you know what you're doing, even though sometimes you don't. So at the moment, I'm just gonna pretend I'm fine, because I am fine, and I'm gonna smash it. So it's 1 a.m. We are almost done with everything. Branding flags, uh, lights, sounds, screens, media wall, everything. Anyway, I'm really, really tired. I need to catch at least four hours of sleep. Uh, I will try that because, I don't know, every time I just lie in the bed, I suddenly I don't want to sleep. Maybe that's going to be those nine Red Bulls I've drunk. <sighs> Great when half half a minute half an hour before the show, um, there is no electricity for our machines, and we are on tight schedule. So yay, keep it positive. That's what you have to do as a leader you have to show confidence. All is gonna be right, just right. has been up and running since 2011 and this year we're super excited because we've teamed up with uh, Red Bull with the uh, iconic program Red Bull Street Style and uh, we've signed a three-year deal with them we'll be running this program for the next three years in three different countries and we're super excited about it Um, everything at the moment in the sport is incredible. We are, to see the growth rate in the last seven, eight years, it's been unbelievable. I mean, we started with just 26 countries in the network, all working towards one common goal. Uh, and that's now now grown to 130. So across the world now, across every continent, there are young people enjoying this sport, growing as people and athletes. Uh, and now teaming up with Red Bull allows us to create this kind of stage and this experience for them to showcase that talent and actually live full time from this as a profession.
project over 10 years ago in an effort to combine the different variations of the sport. There were very stylish parts of the game, very technical parts of the game, and so we wanted to create a format that basically spoke to all the creativity, control, and style, and Red Bull Street Style was developed. So after 10 years of making Red Bull Street Style, we looked to a fitting partner, and we found it with the WFFA. Those guys have been very involved and integral as consultants all along the way, and uh, it, was, it was great to pass on the responsibility. My name is Alex, uh, I'm the project lead from the Red Bull side for the international project lead for this uh, Red Bull Street Style World Finals and the qualifiers and uh, yeah I was here since the very beginning of Red Bull Street Style since 2008 and uh, yeah I'm the liaison between Red Bull and WFFA and trying to make uh, this happen and uh, yeah growing the whole sport. running uh, 50 plus national events around the world and always the winner had the privilege to uh, come here, be, uh, have paid expenses and just be a part of this big group of freestyle stars. And now we are in uh, from 45 guys, we went down to top 16 finals, which we are going to be streaming live online to three, four different countries online to the whole world. You're going to reach more than million, two million views, whatever. And uh, we have a special guest, Roberto Carlos, a Brazilian who has been playing for Real Madrid for a long time. And um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of Polish uh, people are going to come to see him on their own eyes. So just make it look better. Yes. yes. I'm going to greet Roberto Carlos with my hands from beard oil. Red Bull is a worldwide brand and uh, I knew that the expectations from them are going to be really high. That's why I'm surprised that we were uh, actually uh, able to fulfill whatever they wanted and we 
uh, ten, 10 months of preparation just uh, all into this moment and now we are just cooperating like we were working together for five years. Right, Kevin? I'm going to that. Oh, yeah, sure. There's been a lot of work, a lot of details, and uh, almost no it. time. Um, I'm really happy that it's uh, over, and, and I hope that people are going to enjoy uh, the after party and the. <laughs> <laughs> never stop dreaming. Never stop, never stop. Well, next year there are no uh, exact locations where we want to go with Red Bull Street Style, but I know we are talking to three different countries. I don't have time. Oh, yeah.